This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a Shopify app that converts e-commerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 15% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hello, welcome to Educate E-Commerce, your one-stop destination for Shopify tutorials and e-commerce solutions. So today in this video, I'll be talking about how you can process a test payment on a development store on Shopify. So before you proceed to any uh, live website, you'll have to check each and every checkpoints. So uh, since if your uh, site is live, you'll have to see how the payment is working, how orders are processed and how you uh, can fulfill an order. So during the development phase, you can't use a test payment uh, in any ways. So you'll be, uh, once you go uh, select your products in the cart and go to checkout, you'll be taken into something like this, where it shows that this store can't accept any payments right now. So this is for the development stores where uh, the site is not live and uh, you'll have to process the payment to see your thank you page or any other purpose. So uh, we'll see how you can do this or you can process a test payment on the Shopify website using a simple setting on Shopify. So for that, we're going to go to the Shopify uh, dashboard and here we're going to go to the settings. And in the settings, uh, you just let's go to the payment option right here. And if you have added any uh, credit card here, you will have to click on to manage and deactivate that credit card in order to process. So here, uh, what you can do is you can uh, go to the choose provider option in the payment settings. So you can just go to click on to the choose provider and here you will be able to see the bogus gateway option. So all you have to do is click on to this bogus gateway. And here there are some uh, basic settings. So, uh, so if you want to use uh, a approved transaction or if you want to process an order, you can use the card number as one. And if you want to do a declined uh, transaction, you can use two. And for a uh, gate, gateway failure, you can use three as the card number. So I'll show you how this you can process this. So uh, first of all, you have to activate this bogus gateway. And uh, once the payment is activated, uh, you will be able to process the test payments for your website. So we were back on the payment page and here let's refresh this page. So here uh, after refresh, you will be able to see that the payment option is here and the credit card option is also right there. So all you have to do is add a card number. So the card number will be one for the uh, approved uh, transactions or if you want to process an order, you will have to add one. So for the uh, name of the card, you can add bogus gateway. So this is the way it, uh, it has to go and you can uh, choose a random uh, expiry date. Let's choose 0125. It should be a future date and uh, you can use any number as a security code. Then you can just click on to pay now and the order will be processed. Okay, cool. So the order is now processed and the order is now in my uh, website, in my order section on the dashboard. So here you will be able to see how the thank you page is going to look like or how this end page is going to look like all those things you will be able to uh, see. So if you want to do a failed transaction and see how your uh, failed transaction is looking like, let's create another order from our shop. Let's go to shop and add this products on our website and click on to checkout. Let's complete this information and continue to shop. So here you will have the card number. Let's place it to for the failed transaction. So you can see how the failed transaction is working. So you can simulate those failed transaction and approved transaction. So here name of the card as bogus gateway. And the expiry date is 3 slash 26 and a random security number. And you can just click on to pay now.
and here it shows that the payment uh, could not be processed this, so this is what it uh, it gives when you uh, process a failed uh, payment so this is for the, just for the testing part if you want to add some you use any app that uh, is focused on the failed transaction to capture those etc you can use this uh, uh, code for uh, stim simulating the failed transactions so this is how you can generate test orders for your store so this is a very simple easy steps you can just have to enable the uh, bogus gateway on the shopify store and add the credit card details for this purpose so i hope this video helped you and if you like this video give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe we'll come up with more videos on shopify and e-commerce soon so we'll see you in another video bye